before demonstrating how to perform a thin needle aspiration biopsy. I'm going to spend a few moments discussing the basic concepts. The name of the technique, thin needle aspiration biopsy, may give the impression that it is possible to simply place the needle and suck out the sample. This will work only if the contents of the mass is liquid. With suction alone in solid targets, they will usually only be scant and often non-diagnostic material. Most masses are made up of islands of epithelial cells set in stromal tissue. The epithelial islands are represented by dark dots and the stroma by light background. In general, the most important information is in the epithelial islands. In order to extract sufficient amounts of material, it is necessary to move the needle back and forth through the tissue. The tip of the needle will then dislodge small fragments of tissue. These fragments will collect inside the needle. Applying suction helps in collecting and transporting tissue fragments up through the needle. If the target is not completely fixed to the surrounding tissues, it will likely move back and forth with the needle, preventing effective sampling. Therefore, it is important in cases of palpable targets to hold them down firmly. In larger targets, three centimeters and up, this can usually be easily done by using the thumb and opposing fingers. However, in smaller targets, it is more effective to use the forefinger and middle finger. Note how close the fingers are to the nodule in order to keep it firmly in place. Often, it helps to initially place the fingers together on top of the mass and then stretch the skin by spreading the fingers. Specific pointers for how to immobilize and approach difficult and unusual targets will follow in a special section.